In this exercise, we're going to be discussing creating circles. In Inventor, we have two options for creating a circle. We have circle center point and circle tangent. Center point being the easiest, we select on that tool, drop the center point of the circle, and we drag it out. If you know the size you want the circle to be, you can just type it in. If you're unsure, you can just left pick anywhere and it'll create the circle for you. If I want the circle to be referencing another circle, for example, I can select the center point of the existing circle and just drag it out. Then I can use my dimensional constraint and select on my two circles. Now I can say that this circle is 0.25 inches larger than this circle. The other option for circles is the tangent circle. By selecting on three lines, it will automatically draw a circle that is tangent to all three. The lines do not need to be parallel or perpendicular, but you do have to have three of them. The other option if you need to just create a rounded end of something, you can use the fillet command with a known dimension and select on two parallel lines and get you a nice rounded end there. Another version of a circle, so to speak, is the ellipse command. And what we can do to draw an ellipse is we select the center, we select the first axis, and we select the second axis. And it's that simple. Circles, much like line work, can be offset. Ellipses, for example, can be offset. They can also be scaled and stretched if you need to. And then we can pattern circles. If I select a circular pattern, and I select these two circles here. I can select the center axis. And you can see it'll create a sketch of those circles. Very simple way to create different patterns that are repeating in a sketch. I'm going to undo that. One last thing that is unique to circles is you do have a concentric constraint. And what this will allow us to do is lock the center of circles onto each other. So if I say these circles here are concentric to this, it will actually bring those circles out to the end of that fillet. Circles are a very easy tool to use, and I encourage you to play with them for a few minutes.